New details on fourth skill trees is not long dropped and today we check out what Amara and Flex will offer. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So new details on fourth skill trees hasn't long hit the internet from official gearbox sources so let's check out the new information. The upcoming Designers Cut content add-on adds exciting new ways to play including a brand new skill tree for each Vault Hunter PayPal. Today we check out two of four. So we'll start with Amara. Amara's new phase flare action skill summons a giant controllable orb of elemental destruction that lets her bowl a bloody path through the opposition. Meanwhile, her enlightened force skill tree lets her freeze enemies using trial elemental effects, rounding out her toolkit of natural elements. The passive abilities in the enlightened force tree help her maximize elemental damage and slow enemies down so they have no hope of outrunning her phase flare. So we have more details on this people. So when using Amaro's Enlightened Force skill tree, the entire galaxy is your personal bowling alley. And those opposing you are the soon to be annihilated pins. First freeze anyone foolish enough to get in your way with cryo elemental effects, which round out Amaro's toolkit of natural elements she can affix to her action skills. Then knock their blocks off using the phase flare action skill which creates an orb of pure elemental energy you can push around and detonate using melee attacks. The orb constantly damages any enemies nearby but its full potential comes from the damage it does colliding with targets like a lethal bowling ball. Up until now, Amaro had fire and forget action skills, but with the new phase flare, she's capable of even more damage when properly managing the skill, says Grim. This also opens up a whole new set of action skill active anointments that previously hadn't synergized too well with her other skills. Those who master phase flare and pair it with the right gear will be able to bounce around the battlefield like a siren possessed, slaughtering enemies by slamming an energy orb to and from. The passive abilities in the Enlightened Force skill tree also help you maximize your elemental damage and slow enemies so they have no hope of outrunning your face flare. Here are some of the highlights. Trust in yourself with a huge boon when Amaro wants to fight up close and personal. Whenever an enemy breaks Amaro's shield, she gains increased reload speed, charge speed and weapon speed with doubled bonuses if her shield was broken by a melee attack. Combo Breaker makes it so killing an enemy with melee damages reduces Amara's remaining action skill cooldown by half. When combined with the boosted melee damage effects from other passives, you can chain together skills almost non-stop. Clear the Mind is a must-have skill tree for tougher enemies you need to freeze, burn, electrocute or poison in a hurry. After killing an enemy, Amara's attacks ignore all elemental resistances for a short time. This doesn't override elemental immunities however. Further down the Enlightened Force skill tree you can gain access to more action skills that put a new spin on Phase Flare's signature orb. For instance, heal your allies with the glow up action skill that can grant an instant sound wind if you smack into a downed teammate. For all you siren pugilists who love to punch anything that moves, the Enlightened Force skill tree lets you crack schools like never before. So people I'm not even gonna lie to is I ain't even an Amara main but this does sound pretty cool I cannot wait to see it in action for myself. So what about Flak? Flak gains some reliable crowd control with their new gravity snare action skill. This long lasting skill periodically tosses nearby enemies into the air, interrupting their attacks before painfully slamming them back into the ground. The passive abilities in the trapper skill tree give Flak and their pet Huge survivability increases via shield bonuses, as well as added damage through increased critical hit effects. Additional details here people. To flack, something doesn't need to be warm, fuzzy and poop out their mouths to be a pet, says Tommy. To flack, anything can be a pet, including a Hyperion loader butt. Using their new trapper skill tree, flack can control the battlefield from near and far. 
With the new Lord of Bark pet variations and area of effect gravity snare action skill, Flak lovers can enjoy a new way to play. The Iron Lorder comes with a powerful sniper rifle to keep it and Flak safe from a distance, while the Bull Lorder comes with a shotgun and a bulldozer to get right up in enemy's stupid faces, Tommy explains. Or just go with the War Lorder and burn everything to the ground with its radiation missiles. Whatever floats your boat. Flak's new trapper skill tree isn't all about robot rampages, though he also provides Flak and their pets with some powerful shield bonuses. To help you and your trusty pets get the perfect positioning during a skirmish, Flak can drop a gravity snare for some reliable crowd control. The long lasting action skill periodically tosses any nearby enemies into the air, interrupting their attacks before painfully slamming them back into the ground. While they're tied up, you and your animal slash metal companion can go to town on your health plus prey or focus on high value targets. The passive abilities in the trapper skill tree give Flak and their pets huge survivability increases via shield bonuses or added damage through increased critical hit effects. Check out these choice picks. Take this gives Flax pair a copy of their shield which can turn your companion into a knight, unkillable tank. Monkey Doo gives Flax pet increased critical hit damage, but the real power comes from its other passive effect. Whenever Flax scores a critical hit on enemies, their pet's next attack is a guaranteed critical hit, and best of all, this passive has a short cooldown. Capacitance is Flak's failsafe survival skill. When activated, Flak gains greatly increased shield capacity for a short time and immediately begins recharging shields. With its short cooldown, proper use of capacitance can make you practically immortal. Pretty cool. I can't wait to see what kind of interesting shield focus builds are made possible via the Trapper skill tree, says Grim. The Lord of Us also contribute to a sense of cooperative play that really makes Flak feel like a pack leader. If you love lowering enemies to their doom and withstanding damage that would make a lesser robots crumble, Flax Trapper skill has what you need. So people to me, it sounds pretty awesome. Now the fourth skill trees arrive on November 10th, so not too far away at all, with the designers cut, and soon enough we will learn of Moses and Zane's fourth skill trees. And any info right there, obviously I'll have you covered right here on my channel. Now upon the Borderlands website you can actually have a look through the entire skill trees and even put together some builds if you want to which I will link within the video description you can see that in action on screen now but it is completely up to you if you want to wait for it to come out you can do that also. Right now because I've already looked Moses and Zane's is not there so you can't check out what they offer just Amara and Fleck so if you want to do that and build your very own fourth skill tree builds be my guest. Like I said, link down below in that video description. But guys, on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more BR3, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.